Are you always reading the rubric carefully? Hello, today I will talk about rubric. In most, the student get a rubric before assessment. There are lots of important information in the rubric, but some of you are not understanding the importance of the rubric. So from now, I'll tell you what rubric is, why rubric is so important, and how should students approach it. First, what is rubric? The rubric is a table of viewpoint and scale that shows how much learning is achieved. So it's saying if you do this, you can get this score. Next, why is rubric so important? There's three reasons. First, it's useful to set a good goal. Every unit has a thing that it asks the student to do. However, it's difficult to find out what it is. In such a case, what you need to do is read this part of the rubric. This is a goal for each criterion, so we can pick up the words from here. Next, it helps to get a high score. I think everyone wants to get a good score, but it's not easy to get 7-8. In the rubric, there's a hint to get high scores. If you could do all of this, you can get 7-8. Last, the reflection point becomes clear. An assessment like presentation, sometimes it's not clear why you got that score. But Rubik has a clear reason for each score. It's easy to find out improvement. Let's say you got 858. Five is not really a good score, so you have to improve it. When you see the rubric, you can know that your reflection point is explaining difficult words. Like these examples, there are so many merits for reading the rubric. Last, how should students approach the rubric? I think there are two points. Point one, use a highlighter. You should highlight things like important parts and the words that you don't know. Point two, use my notes base. You can write things like unknown words, meaning and definitions. If we can use the rubric effectively, a grade will definitely go up. So let's use rubric wisely. Thank you for listening.